I'd like to talk to you about how to go from point slope form to slope intercept form. Well, let's talk about slope intercept form for just a minute. And an equation is in slope intercept form when it's in this form y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. To go from point or point slope to slope intercept, there's two steps. The first step is to use the distributive property to open up the parentheses. And the second step is going to be to isolate y by adding or subtracting. Let's see how that works with this example. We have y minus 3 is equal to negative 5 times the sum of x and 12. Well, we're going to use the distributive property to open the parentheses. So both terms get multiplied by negative 5. So we end up with y minus 3 is equal to negative 5x minus 60. Our next step is to isolate y. They're subtracting 3. We're going to do the inverse and we're going to add 3 to both sides. That'll isolate y and leave us with y is equal to negative 5x minus 57. So we went from point slope to slope intercept form. Let's take a look at a couple more examples just to make sure we completely understand this. In this one, our point slope is y minus 4 is equal to 3 times the difference of x and 2. First step is to use the distributive property to open these parentheses. So I'm going to multiply both terms inside by 3. That's going to give us y minus 4 is equal to 3x minus 6. Our next step is to isolate y. They're subtracting 4. The inverse of subtracting 4 is adding 4. So we'll add 4 to both sides. And that will give us y is equal to 3x minus 2. So this equation has a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of negative 2. So we've gone from point slope to slope intercept. Our next example is y plus 2 is equal to, what's this mean when I have a negative bumped up to a parenthesis? Oh, that's right. That's a negative 1 there. So it's negative 1 times the sum of x and 4. So I'm going to multiply both terms inside by negative 1. When I do that, I'm going to have y plus 2 is equal to negative x minus 4. Our next step is to isolate y. They're adding 2. The inverse of adding 2 is to subtract 2. We'll subtract 2 from both sides. These will cancel out. That leaves us with y is equal to negative x minus 6. This equation has a slope of negative 1 and a y-intercept of negative 6. And again, we've gone from point slope to slope intercept. I hope this helps you in, uh, with your assignment today. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to me.